Welcome to my channel, Predicting the Future. Today, we want to derive the formula of the density function of a multivariate normal random variable. We'll do that step by step. Before that, we need to talk about some theorems and some definitions. So the first one we're going to talk about is the covariance of uh, matrix A times uh, a random variable, a random vector x. So by the definition, covariance of Ax is expected value of Ax minus a mu mu is the mean vector of x times the transpose of that same form. If we expand it, eventually we'll get, we'll get this one. We'll get this one. And that we take the A out from, from both terms take the a transpose out from both terms what we left is expected value of x times x transpose minus mu times mu transpose and that is just the covariance of x so we get covariance a x is just a covariance x times a transpose when we talk about random vectors we need to talk about covariance matrix so covariance matrix Let's, let's, let's suppose sigma is a covariance matrix. Uh, since this is symmetric from the linear algebra, we know that we can decompose that into uh, also normal matrix gamma, where each column of that gamma is just the eigenvectors of sigma. And we can also, uh, so this is gamma, and, and lambda is, is a diagonal matrix where it, uh, each term in the diagonal is just the eigenvalue of sigma. So sigma can be decomposed into that and the, the square root, we can write the, the sigma into a term uh, of power two. So that term is the square root for sigma and the square root for sigma is just, the, it's just, it's just this form. So sigma, can be decomposed as a square so we can find this so this is the formula of sigma square root the square root of sigma um, so the in and we can also find the inverse of sigma square square root of sigma a square root of, and that is just um, the same similar to square root of sigma the inverse of sigma trans uh, inverse of uh, square root of sigma inverse inverse of square root sigma is just gamma transpose times lambda. Now it becomes not only square root, but also the inverse of the diagonal matrix times gamma. And if we times, so if we multiply uh, sigma square root inverse with sigma square root, we, we can see this is just diagonal, uh, just identity matrix one. Let's look at, uh, the covariance matrix sigma, covariance matrix sigma is positive semi-definite. We know uh, that its its uh, quadratic form is square uh, is, is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, why why this is true? Let's write down. Uh, let's let's look at. Let's say y. We, let's define y as uh, any uh, vector v transpose times. Uh, random variable x that is just the inner product of these two vector uh, and because because y is just a, a single dimension one dimensional random variable we know the variance is that is definitely greater than greater or equal to zero but the variance of that is just uh, the vector v times square uh, sigma times uh, the transpose uh, times the uh, vector v transpose y this is this is what we just uh, used uh, just now by using this this equation so uh, next let's uh, let's find out now let's find out uh, the formula for the probability density fun the des probability density function of a multivariate normal random variable suppose z is a uh, uh, that is a vector of uh, random variables, and each column, each vector, each element of the vector is uh, is a standard normal random variable, so one dimensional standard normal random variable, uh, and because and, and they are independent, then 
because they're in independent. The joint PDF of that is just a uh, multiplication of each PDF of the element of that. So each each elements in that. So that will be the multi multi multiplication of each PDF uh, of single ra single random variable and single normal random variable. So that will be uh, the joint PDF of Z. Then let's define an, a random variable X. That this is the one we we're gonna. This is actually multivariate normal. Uh, so let's define X to be some um, some sigma square root of a symmetric random variable sigma square root of that uh, times the independent uh, times a random vector standard normal random vector. Uh, plus a constant vector mu. Um, so let's find out the uh, moment generated function of x, uh, because x is is a form of uh, uh, random vector z, uh, and because each each element in z is independent, so when we so the moment generated function of that is just uh, multiplication of each moment generated functions of each elements in z. Which is uh, which is actually a formula we talk about in the in one of the previous um, videos. We use uh, a theorem called uh, the the independence of moment generated function. We use a, a, a theorem called independence by moment generated function. Let's say if if a random vector x, uh, each element inside the x is is independent. Then the moment generated function of x is just a multiplication of each moment generated function of each elements in x. So let's come back to our moment generated function of uh, random vector x. Uh, that's the result of how we get it. So each each element in z is the standard normal uh, random variable. So we get the standard normal random variables moment generated function uh, and, and this is what we got for the moment random, moment generated function of the random vector x and this is actually the moment generated function of the multivariate normal random variable now let's rewrite uh, this x let's do it uh, this is a linear so x is a linear Function right, it's a linear function of z. So let's rewrite that in terms of z. So let so let's do a inverse. So we we get z is actually um, the sigma square root inverse times uh, a bracket vector x minus vector mu. So this is z. Let's find out the the Jac Jacobian matrix of z. Uh, so the Jacobian matrix z. Is we take the derivative of uh, z over x, uh, we so this is linear. It's so this is just this is gone. This so, this so so x minus mu becomes one, and what we left for the, for the derivative is just the uh, sigma square root uh, inverse, and then we. Uh, we take the determinant of that and determinant uh, determinant of this one uh, because this is we got this one this is uh, sigma square root inverse can be decomposed as gamma transpose times lambda inverse square root times gamma and so we uh, and the determinant of that is is determinant of each matrix uh, this is also uh, a result from linear algebra uh, and determinant of determinant of a normal matrix itself is just one uh, and and determinant of a lambda trans uh, inverse transpose we move over and this is also one what we left is just a determinant of of lambda uh, inverse of square root inverse and this is just determinant of sigma square root inverse so we got 
the formula for the de determinant. Uh, we got the formula for, for the Jacobian. So Jacobian of z over x is is just sigma determinant of sigma uh, square root inverse. Now let's derive the formula for for the probability density function of a multivariate normal. Uh, we know z is the the probability the joint PDF of z is the multiplication of each is the multiplication of each mom, uh, each probability density uh, standard normal uh, density function. We 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 put a z we replace z with uh, with our vector z here, and we will get this formula here so we, we, we put that in uh, replace the z here and then we we'll need to tap so this pdf needs to multiply by its jacobian if you remember that from the multivariate calculus the the jacobian of of this one is just determinant of of sigma in uh, square root inverse so that will become to here so it becomes it goes to here, so one over. This is what we have from the PDF, John PDF, and this is the Jacobian here. Now we got our PDF for for the multivariate normal random variable using independent standard normal random variables.